Let me tell you guys about Mary Borgstrom. I had an opportunity to not only buy her house, but to get to know her this past year. Sadly, she's now passed away, but her legacy is living on through her art. We found a remarkable amount of items in the home, 92 of which are up for auction this coming month, and the auction ends on the 30th. Now, some of these items, uh, in terms of value, it's hard to put a value on things that are priceless because they're one of a kind. But um, an item such as this large vase, and you can see from my height, it's over two feet tall, or roughly two feet tall. Um, the family tells me the last time this was on loan to a gallery, it was insured uh, for between five and ten thousand dollars. It's currently bid, I think, somewhere around eight hundred dollars. So somebody's already got a heck of a deal if it goes for that. Let's hope it gets close to what its actual value is. But this is a remarkable piece, um, hand polished by stone. So she would throw this on her wheel, fired in the ground. I should start off with um, fired in a pit on the ground. Very difficult to do, and then hand polished. And she told me she'd take a rock that she would find by the river. And she'd sit there and she'd polish until it was perfectly smooth. So the glaze and texture on this, it's just so silky smooth to even touch. It's a beautiful piece. A couple of my favorites that I've brought out to show you guys. Uh, one is the one I call Happy Little Devil. Um, she didn't do too many figural pieces, but this is one. Um, really nice red glaze, beautiful condition, and he's got such character. It's almost like in the old classic style. She really liked to experiment with the classics or different, um, different themes and different genres. And I have all sorts of books that I found in the house from her learning everything from indigenous style pottery to ancient. Uh, and so you see some of that reflected in the art. This is a wild rose the flower of Alberta, where we live. She made three of these fully glazed for the centennial. We have all three here at auction, including one that was a prototype. It's unglazed. Finished in a nice pink glaze, dated 1967 centennial on the back and signed by Mary. Um, beautiful little piece of art to go on your wall. And truly, all these pieces that we have, uh, whether it's in the showcase or behind us, are all art. And the value, um, any, a piece like this, this mask is probably worth between three and $3,500. The value of the flower, probably somewhere around uh, 1500 to 2000 So the average price of these is north of $1,000, and we're starting them off around $200 each. Um, so I encourage people to go online and have a look because there's some fantastic items and some fantastic uh, pieces of art that you can have in your home. Once-in-a-lifetime opportunity and some amazing stuff.